$50 room. And then they're oh. going to answer their questions um, with that characteristic in mind. I don't maybe did this once before. No. 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 Okay, okay. We did a press conference. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, so, for example, whatever it may be, you know, and, it's, and you don't want to give it away completely explicitly, but like, you're that person, so whatever your, you know, your characteristic trait is, defines how you answer. And at the end, he's going to make a selection, and when he lets the, the people that don't win down, he says, well, you know, the problem is I, I, I never date serial murderers, and so I don't think it worked out between me and Bachelor on number two, you know. And, uh, if, and if he got it right, then the audience sort of says that and notices and applauds and is happy for that. Okay, so go ahead and leave the room, leave up. So it's a similar idea to press It's a similar idea, especially to that party game that you show us with that, uh, with that trait. So it's a similar to press conference in that there's that discovery, but it's most resembles that party game. Okay, so uh, what he's is... He's asking us the questions, right? Uh, he's going to ask questions. I'll, I'll be the moderator and just go around. And somebody learn how to do that, then you'll be the moderator next time. Um, what's her characteristic? Jezebel. She's a Jezebel. Okay, very unfaithful to uh, all men. You know. Cheater. Cheater. You like a good time, but uh, you're not real loyal. What, what about her? Very religious. Very religious. Okay. And what about Emma? She's about like um, so social class. Like okay, yeah, all about social class. Yeah. Okay, all about. So, Tim, could you sit up there yet? So, I'll just get you. You're the kind of person who wears red lips. Yeah, right before you look. Welcome, everybody, to this year's dating game. We're very happy to have Levi and our contestant. We're very lucky to have you. Levi, tell us just a little bit about yourself. I like long walks on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe you're going to be taking a walk on the beach. Come on, we're going to move with somebody very special tonight. And, uh, okay, well, uh, I don't see how you can lose. Okay, um, <laughs> we, what you need to know is ask a few questions and find out a little bit about the lovely ladies. And so we're going to turn you to Casey. And um, so, what's your question you would ask to Bachelorette number one? Bachelorette number one, what is your idea of a perfect date? A perfect date? Huh, my idea of a perfect date. Date. Well, date. Sorry. Um, probably go out to eat, you know. I'm going to go to movies, and I'll go out hanging with some people, too. I don't know. <laughs> I like keeping time to myself, too. I'm not whole into the whole dating thing. So a perfect date for you would be almost no date at all? Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> uh, question about it. Bachelorette number two. What is your favorite meal? Your favorite meal? <laughs> um, I like anything that has corn and, like, bread. I like to drink a little wine. Sure. The body and blood, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, question, fast number three. Fast number three. <laughs> He's wondering, if you were a lemon, how should he peel you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure that's appropriate for a woman of my standing to answer. <laughs> okay. Sour as a lemon, yes. <laughs> we got a question for all three bachelorettes. Yeah, all three bachelorettes. Uh, if I take you guys out to eat and I pay for the meal, no. <laughs> I don't know. We got it. Okay, so guys, always with improv. You just got to go for it. You can't second guess yourself. You can't doubt yourself because you don't have time to. You're, like, you're up in front of people. So you, it's commitment. You just go wherever you start. So I mean, so you take the dinner, you pay for it. Well, you get breakfast in bed. Well, you get breakfast in bed after you pay the ten. Nah. Can't be bought. That's right, number one. Can't be bought. That's right, number two. Breakfast in bed. Um, if it's in my own bed. Okay. okay. Uh, and that's right, number three. I usually get breakfast in bed brought to me. However, I am sort of offended by the assumption that we would be waking up in the same bed. <laughs> ah, I get it. Breath of fresh air in January. Uh, okay, uh, one last question. We'll give it to all of them, then we'll have to make your selection. Okay, how often do you guys brush your teeth? How often do you brush your teeth? Very often. Gotta keep my mouth clean. Any particular reason? Um, it's just... I'd be hanging out with a lot of people. <laughs> okay, uh, sounds considerate. Uh, and number two. I brush my teeth a lot. I do a lot of 
to lie, basically. Any particular reason? I'm talking to an important person. Ah. I have someone to brush my teeth. <laughs> okay, well, uh, it's a hard selection. They all three just sound so dynamic and dynamite. But uh, who do you have to let down first? I have to let down bachelor number three. She seems a little too uh, high maintenance. Well, bachelor number three, come on over here and say goodbye to this guy. Come on up. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> and uh, next, who do you have to let down? I have to let down bachelor number two. Ooh, how come? She doesn't seem like I'd score the first night. No, I might have trouble that first night. I don't think you're going to have a problem back there at number one, though. <laughs> <laughs> and why did you select Bachelorette number one? Because it seems like her ideal date is my ideal date. No date at all, just get out of here. I hope you have a very happy 25 minutes together. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Well, that's the dating game. <laughs> and uh, there's a lot of different wonderful improv games and 